Hey, Kevin. Hey, David. This is our new chill pill. A new one? Yeah, we have a new one. Let's just release the same old ones again and see if people notice. People would probably not notice. <laughs> oh, we're so. I hope they would. Oh, we're gosh. so witty and entertaining. Well, we... actually, this chill pill is very similar in theme to the last chill pill. Oh, excellent. Because we got a, a huge response to the last chill pill, and so I wanted to sort of build upon that. What was the last one? I forgot. We had the tips of stress release tips. Oh, right, right, right. The 10 <laughs> things that were like, bullshit. Remember poetry? And, oh, my yeah. God. So I actually was in uh, New Orleans this past week, and there was a guy on the street you could pay him a dollar and he'd write you a poem would you pay him a dollar no i was too scared he looked like <laughs> he smelled oh god <laughs> come on i know i would love to see what, what, what like mine was though super hipstery with like an old-fashioned t- typewriter you could have like an amazing poem i know i'll just go back cheapskate all right so what is your t- chill so pill? if you recall the last chill pill we had you had um sourced some tips for de-stressing and we kind of put mm-hmm. them to the test. So I thought, well, we didn't really get a big reaction from us, right? So there's like maybe two or three out of the 10 that we thought might work or sure, be effective. Sure. So I sourced some of my own. Okay. So I'll put you to the test. Wait, you made your own or you found well, No, I sourced list. them online. You know, I, okay. I kind of, you know, Googled like stress release tips and, and so I have 10 as well. Oh, okay. And so I'll walk through them and we can kind of like see if they're going to work or not. Excellent. I have no advanced knowledge of this or most things. It's amazing that none of them are similar to ones you had, right? So, okay. I mean, how many tips can you possibly have? The best tips, though, is listening to Terrifying the Beautiful. Uh, it's actually on the list. Is it? Oh. <laughs> it's number 10. <laughs> Does it say our podcast? Is it? I made it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, spoiler alert. Obviously, Just spoiler. everybody pretend to be surprised when David says yeah, number exactly. 10. Yeah, exactly. All right, go ahead. All right, so the first one that I think you'll get a big kick out of is to touch or kiss someone. Oh. oh. And the theory behind this is that it releases, now I, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, and you're probably better at this than I am, but um, probably. oxytocin? Oxytocin. Tocin. Yeah, I can tell you lots about that. What is it? Like, like a it's a hormone, right? Yeah. Um, but oxytocin is released when you hug someone, or um, it's always released after orgasm. That's too. what it just says here. It says if you really yeah. want to step it up, get a room, because yeah. it like surges when you orgasm. So when you release oxytocin, it actually um, changes the way that you trust someone. So it's like a trust chemical. Really? Yeah. So they're actually, there are actually some studies where they're using it with autistic kids, where they spray it on their pillow at night, and then their parents come in, so that way they're... Uh, they're forming that bond. Well, you know, for my consulting work, all I do is actually, you know, help leaders build trust. <laughs> Maybe I should just sell it to there them and spray it in no, the room. It's, there's like a lot of things where people are trying to make it illegal because people can do that for like and get very rapey with it. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, well. sorry about that. But yeah, definitely yeah. touch someone. Can it be a dog? It said something. For the touching, not someone. the sex part. Yeah, God, Kevin. <laughs> um, I wrote someone, but I didn't really say that. So I'm like, sure. Animal therapy is a thing. Well, yeah, we talked about that having dogs at nursing homes and it yeah. releases you know, blood pressure and stuff. So Just make okay. sure you get consent from the person. Just don't like run up and kiss a stranger. Like Pete. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, okay, so that one, I believe in that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go stroke everyone. So the second one you're absolutely going to agree with is okay. swear it off. Oh, my Just, like, God. drop F-bombs. Fuck yes. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. I love swearing, as you know. Well, they say um, swearing is a sign of intelligence, too. I have a fucking, like, 195 IQ. Yeah. Well, that's why people swear when they get hurt, right? Because it actually can, it actually helps with pain tolerance. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so um, the release that you get from swearing, and uh, there's, I mean, I'm sure there's a study somewhere. I read it somewhere. <laughs> I do have my go-to, like, when I stub a toe or you bang your, your funny bow on your elbow, it's like, fuck! Oh, yeah. Well, what do you do... When you're like in public and you don't want to swear, do you have like a go-to word? Oh God, I never thought about that. I think I just like close my eyes and like just squeeze my hands together, like you know, don't have yeah. a nervous breakdown. I yeah. usually yell "mother effer," which is the same. Oh, thing. okay, yeah, yeah. Mother- because I can get the mother part out, but by the time I have time to think about the F part, I can I can. Oh, so I, I do pull out once in a while, Jesus H. Christmas. Oh. Yeah. Nice. My mom taught me that. That could be really <laughs> offensive to people, too. Jesus H. Christmas? Yeah, you're not supposed to use his name in vain at all. Oh, not Christmas in vain? Okay. No. Oh. Christmas is just his name with mass after it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. So I, th- I think swear it off is like pretty good. So we're yeah, yeah. two for two. Okay. The third's kind of weird, but um, it says eat garlic. Oh, and the the Don't theory do the here combination yeah, of number one exactly, um, but the the theory here is that it's supposed to have some kind of like, you know, some kind of a reaction that it actually relaxes mm. blood vessels, and that's supposed to naturally de-stress you. Okay, there. No, I know like, a lot. I know a lot of like high strung Italians. There's no yeah, way exactly. It works. Just yeah. like swallow a clove. Yeah, I don't know. Like that. I mean, I'll have a slice of pizza when I'm feeling stressed out. With some I mean, garlic I love. It. I actually took garlic pills for a long time. The deodorant garlic. one. 
Yeah, garlic. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, it's, it's just, just like, fancy garlic. Know, it didn't really do anything, but uh, well, it also helped with vampires. Didn't kill me. Oh my god, I just started listening to. Well, that's a long. So I'll I'll save it. Is it the lore podcast? Yes, yes, I know. And I the went whole and, first episode on vampires. Did you go to? Well, I just recently went to Mercy Brown's grave, you which did, is here in, in Rhode Exeter. Island. Yeah, and there's a whole story with it that I will share if the person involved with it allows me to share it. Yeah. Okay. It was scary. Okay. Yeah. It's in our own backyard here in Rhode Island. Oh, so. I just we just did a cliffhanger. I know. Gosh. <laughs> All right. Number four. Eat chocolate. Yes. Which I, I mean, I understand that you know chocolate can like you know make you feel relaxed, but isn't there caffeine in chocolate? Wouldn't that yes. amp you up? Chocolate covered garlic. <laughs> oh my god no but chocolate covered kisses yes so there is I, I don't i should really know more of the chemistry there is something in chocolate though that um also dilates blood vessels and yes stuff. Yeah. yeah but so, I, I just thought it was, might not work because the caffeine might like get you all amped up and stress you yes. out but if you have a stressful dog don't feed them chocolate no any It'll kind of dog them. can't yeah you can't have yeah i know tootie once ate half a block of fudge <gasps> yeah during a blizzard and she's still here she's only five pounds i know and she also ate a half a tube of uh super glue and lived to tell the tale really she's invincible oh my god tootie yeah and this was all at wow. least 10 years ago she's looking right at us like, she can't even like you know she wouldn't yeah. even be able to eat right now but um, <laughs> she's looking at you like so what, what about it bitch? yeah oh my god all right so um i'm not convinced about chocolate i mean i i I actually, actually had some this morning, some dark chocolate, but... You should never eat your stress away. Yeah, exactly. No. All right, number five. This is so bizarre. Rub your hoku. Excuse me? <laughs> I've been rubbing my hoku since, like, 1979. It's not what? working. Is that one of those, like, devices? No. Like an Amazon oh, Firebox? Like the, uh, the, the, what's that new thing, the spinner thing that everybody's using? Oh, fidget spinner. No, the um, the hoku is that is that flap of skin between your thumb and your pointer finger. Oh, yeah, you, you pinch that for headaches. Yes, and you yeah. also pinch it, and it's supposed to release stress by 40%. What? Okay. <laughs> That's what it said. You just pinch your finger? I'm going to do it right it. now. It's kind of like, um, what do Everybody they call that? do it right now. Acupressure? Yeah, acupressure. Puncture if you go through it. I would do it, but I have to put my wine glass down. Yeah. That's not happening. Well, that's, wine distresses me like 60%. Yeah, so. 75% here. It's just an efficiency. Yeah, so it's called a Hoku. H-O-K-U. I didn't even know that. Uh, um, wasn't there like a 90s singer named Hoku? Hoku? I think so. Something like that. Did she sing like Toy Soldier? She sang Dumb Girls. Oh, okay. Something like this never happens to me. It's All right. Like this. So I, you don't remember that song? No. Wait, uh, say it again. I think it's Hoku. Dumb Girls. No. Only happens to dumb girls. No. A girl I know wrote that song, actually. Sorry. Was she dumb? No. She's oh. beautiful. <laughs> Number six. Lucy would watch YouTube. Oh, yeah. I mean. I mean, laughing. No brainer. Yeah, exactly. I just was doing it this morning when I woke up. Really? Rubbing my <laughs> Hoku. No, I, um, I, I watched... I watch YouTube videos a lot. So do I. I mean, I'm on YouTube all the time. And uh, I love... And then one video leads to the next. And it's like, oh my God, it's hilarious. I just Mm. love it. Number seven, there's no effing way this is going to work. Start gardening. Oh, no. No. I know know a lot of folks love gardening. It's supposed to be relaxing. But all I see when I see a garden is like shit that has to be picked and, and weeds that have to be plucked. Yes. How is that... Reduce my stress. My lawn stresses me out so much. It's not even nice because I'm like, I have better things to do with my time. But anything yeah. that is better by you throwing shit on it is not a good hobby. Anything that revo- involves like cow manure. Yeah, exactly. You have to gonna... throw shit on yeah, your hobby exactly. to make it better. No. So, exactly. Eh, Imagine if like that was with cross stitching. Mm. Oh. Oh, is that the next one? Come no, on. but it's coming up. I'm psychic. The next one is embrace clutter. I think I say embroider. <laughs> embrace clutter. Yeah. So, like, don't no. get stressed out around like, disorganization just embrace it i mean you're look look around right now at my laundry um yeah i clutter bothers me but i don't i can never get to the point of embracing it i, I like when things are neat but i don't too. like neatening them i like minimal stuff right so um so i'm not really mm, it's i am about one i'm organized at work but not at home oh interesting hmm. I'm just lazy across the board. Just pay me to do it and I'll yeah. do it. Oh my God, don't. <laughs> All right. So ironically or coincidentally, uh, number nine is cross-stitching. Really? And I was doing some research on this and I was like, well, okay, cross-stitching, what is that, right? And it's where you have like the fabric and you kind of like put the thread yeah, through yeah. it and you draw pictures and shit. My, our well, friend they Josh have, does it. They have porn patterns now. Oh. I went out and bought like 40 yards of fabric. I was like super excited about it. <laughs> it's like, you know, 1820s porn. Oh my God. <laughs> 1820s porn. Yeah. yeah. The girdle. Oh my God. Well, no. they, ha- they also have dirty ones, too, where, you, like, um, you, uh, our friend has one that says, like, 
damn it feels good to be a gangsta or something like that oh okay um, it's like like expressions yeah and, and like swear words and stuff i don't yeah. know if i have the time for that oh my god i've never tried it but it seems tedious to me anything that i cannot immediately be good at or finish like fairly quickly or competitively is out for me i know it isn't the same but when i was in high school i my neighbor who was really big into arts and crafts taught me how to macrame What's and that? i have macrame it's like kind of like that when you mix up shit macaroni? together oh oh and i made a plant hanger and i won first place at the the county fair in my hometown did. yeah how well the signs were there <laughs> um the last one of course jokingly is listen to terrifyingly beautiful it's true i mean honestly i mean i i we've been a lot of feedback from listeners saying you know love the podcast it makes them laugh yes they're not alone so some great emails from people just saying how listening to this has actually helped them and that's really what we try yeah, to do with the this. intention it's exactly. helping me too i mean help- absolutely i get to sit with a glass of wine at least once a week with and one of my best my friends face for an hour it's oh, wonderful i had to make it egotistical oh, god all right well so i thought this list was more logical than the last list to be honest with you yes so um, just eat chocolate with garlic and kiss people kiss people and cross stitch with them and no don't forget to rub your hoku rub your hoku. <laughs> why don't you just rub someone else's hoku you can knock two birds out with one stone i would love to uh volunteers you yeah, have a hoku rubbing circle oh my god kevin you can cross stitch with the other hand when i first saw that i said it said it rub your haiku and i was like no oh, more here we poetry go. Poems yeah, I was again. like what the fuck but um all right so i think we're getting closer to like a, a good list here yeah. just do it in reverse number one is listen to terrifyingly beautiful. beautiful and then rub your hoku and then like and then written review us on iTunes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next Bye. time. Bye.